हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर होस्ट क्षितिज सोनी एंड आई एम हियर विथ न्यू वीडियो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी शेयर विथ यू हाउ टू यूज लारावेल पासपोर्ट ऑथेंटिकेशन इन योर लारावेल एप्लीकेशन लारावेल ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइड सिंपल ऑथ सिस्टम फॉर द वेब बट व्हाट अबाउट एपीआईज एपीआईज बेसिकली यूज टोकन फॉर ऑथेंटिकेशन वेन एनी यूजर लॉग इन then generate one token and it is used for authentication purpose so lara will provide passport for apis authentication so how to use passport in laravel for built restful apis and how to configure in laravel application here we are explain all the things in the step by step in very easy way and with example so let's start in this tutorial we are build following apis service using the passport one registered api second login api third get user details api so simply follow these steps and you can easily integrate passport in your laravel application now step 1 installation first we need to install laravel password package in our application using following command composer require laravel slash passport so go to the cmd run this command and wait for few minutes it will install passport in your application if you don't know how to install laravel 5.5 in your laptop or in your local host then go to the my first video how to install laravel 5.5 step by step for the beginners i also made a new video about laravel apis in the my second step to build api so after configure after installation the passport uh, we have to configure the package so go to the config folder open the app.php and add following provider in it so go to the config and app to open the app.php file here you can see the provider is pasted now step number 3 run the migration and install after set service provider then run the migration passport migration tables used for the store the client and tokens so we are using the php addition migrate nothing to migrate because i already install the i already run the command php addition migrate now next you should install the passport because it generates encryption keys need to use the create passport tokens so run the command php addition passport colon install the fourth the fourth step is the passport configuration after done the above processes then we need to make some changes for the configure passport setting for that we have to change the three files first the model we call that user model we have to add has api tokens class in of the passport in this model now second in the auth service provider we add the passport routes third 
in the auth.php we add the api auth configuration so let's do the changes you can see the client is created successfully now go to the app user.php here include has api tokens and you can add that by using this syntax and also use this as a use api tokens now looking forward to the second change in the service providers go to the app providers and auth service providers dot php here you include the passport and you are using the passport routes in auth service providers after doing this we have to go for the third changes which is in the config.php file now go to the config or open .php and we are add the driver passport for the apis now step number 5 create the routes for that we are using this application for the apis so laravel gives us api.php in the routes folder so go to the routes open the app.php file and make the changes as i show i pasted here the routes for the passport api tokens here there are three routes are there one is for the login second is for the register and third one is to get details of the users for login and register we don't need to pass the tokens so we don't include the middleware auth api in that but for the getting the, the for the get the details of the user we add the middleware and we have to pass the token when we are fetching the data of the users so for that we have to make the passport controllers so go to the app http controllers and make a folder name api and in that make a new controller name passport controller dot php so step number six is create controller after create the controller we have to make three methods in that first for login second for register and third is for the get the details so go to the app http controllers api folder and open the passport controller.php Here you can see I make the login function which is accept email and password after authenticate it it if it authenticated successfully then it will return the success message and if it is the password and given password and email is are wrong then it responds with the unauthorized message 401 is the status for success status we already set the 200 for the success status now the second function is for the register we are accept four parameters in that this is the post request as we made in route.php in routes folder api.php for the register we are accepting name email password and confirm password we are adding the validators here like name is required email is must be in the form of email and also it required password is required we don't set any 
uh, password policy here but if you want to add then add the password policy here and for the confirm confirm password it is must be same as a password and it also also a required field if the validator fails it will return 401 code to the api if the user is successfully created then it will pass the 200 code and success message to the api as a response now third function is getting the details of the users here uh, we have to pass the token and if the details are successfully fetched then it will return the success code 200 and success response with the user data so let's test the apis in the postman rest client open the postman rest client and uh, and fire the url for that you have to serve the application so for that you have to use php artisan serve command in your cmd I have already created the user so we have to log in into that so go make <coughs> URL like API slash login in the body I have to pass email and password go to the and click on the send button you see the success message is here and it is also give the token we copy this token now we call the api name get details the url is your url slash api slash get dash details for that in the body we don't need any thing to pass but in the headers we have to pass the token and as well as accept the application slash json format in the authorization there is a way to pass the token first you have to print barrier you have to write barrier comma a uh, sorry space and the token you get in while login the login into apis login to system so we pasted the token we click on the send and here you can see we get the user data okay so now let's give a, i will give you the demo for the register so the url is api slash register in the body tag you have to pass email password confirm password and name of the user so i change it to demo demo password is also demo name is demo confirm password should be same as the password and click on the send button you can see the success message also come and token is also given by the api so this is it so passport provides the token apis for authenticate or make secure to the laravel apis so thank you for this watching video and please if you have any queries then comment on this video and also like and share or subscribe my channel thank you